welcome back everybody. My name is Legit Lee and today marks episode 8, I believe, of my, of uh, part 8 basically of me working with the Marlin firmware and trying to make my CNC machine work. So for the last two days I've been having issues trying to get all three axes to work. So X, Y, and Z. And you can see I got three NEMA 23 stepper motors sitting right there with some um, tape on it so that you guys could see it work. I was able to figure it out today. I had one of the TB6600s not working right. It didn't want to connect or work for my stuff. So these three are going to be my X, Y, and Z. Well, not in that particular order, but these three are the ones that work. So I'm going to connect... Right now, let me pause the video. I'm going to connect my um, USB cable to my MKS Gen L motherboard. And then run Marlin. And then show you guys the motors moving and everything working for all axes. Okay, everybody. I got the USB connected. And right here is sitting inside of this 3D printed case that I made for it a long time ago. It's PLA Blitz. And this underneath is my 12 volt power supply that has a um, it has a 12 volt. I'm sorry, guys. It has a 12 volt power supply. So if I turn that on, you can see these lights, those LED, that LED, that one, and that one. All three are powered with 12 volts connected to my motherboard too. But you can't see the motherboard turning on anymore because it was already on with the USB cable. But um, I'm going to connect. Right now you'll see the blue light flash connecting to, my, to the prompter face um, software. There it goes. It's connected. So now let's try to run the Y100. So one of those uh, NEMA 23 stepper motors is going to run 100 millimeters. Um, clockwise so here we go one two three there it goes that was 100 millimeters and another 100 millimeters forward so it's clockwise and now we're gonna go backwards kind of clockwise 100 and 100 one more time and 100 one more time after that so 300 backwards so kind of clockwise and now we're gonna go over to the right on the x-axis so that's a hundred that way you can see that that one all the way on the on the right of the video is moving a hundred and now we're going to move in another hundred and another hundred again so that is clockwise and now we're going to go to the left which is counterclockwise hundred to the left hundred to the left and a hundred to the left so we got you just seen Y and X, so X and Y, and now we're going to do the center one is Z. We're going to go up 10, 10 millimeters, and you can see that it's working. So that's 10 up, 10 up again, so clockwise is up, counterclockwise is down. So we're going to go down 10, 1, Two, that's thirty on uh, twenty, and then three. Thirty millimeters down. So we got all three axes working now. So I finally figured everything out. So I should be able to run my CNC machine without any problems now. So next video is gonna be me showing you guys that the CNC machine works. Hopefully that'll be part nine, I guess, since this is probably part eight. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.